Good day, my uh, beautiful people. Glad you're here, beautiful people. Glad you're joining on this uh, beautiful broadcast on this beautiful Sunday. I'm glad you're all here to celebrate your innocence, your love, your light, your kindness, your appreciation, the being is who you are, remembering for who you are, and really celebrating your innocence. Go back to you, innocent when you were born into this world where you're completely you're clean and free and free-spirited and love and light and happiness and joy. Really a beautiful experience that you didn't have any remembering on the day you were conceived. You had anesthesia <laughs> and really one with source. So today you're in for a treat. We're going to have a beautiful experience together in this beautiful co-creation that we have today. My name is Johan Hendricks. If you don't know me, my name is Johan Hendricks. I'm originally from the Netherlands. I live these days in the United States of America, but really I'm a world citizen. I travel more than I'm in the US. <laughs> and now I'm in Europe, I'm in Germany, having an amazing time of my life. Before we start today, my beautiful people that you are, dear ones, dear loved ones, dear souls that are here to celebrate your remembrance for who you are. Make sure you have a two pieces of, of white paper and a blue pen and a glass of water. It's uh, highly important. More about that later, but get them ready. When we get to the exercise of it, I highly endorse you to stop the live recording or the streaming that you are watching and then just wait that you're having two pieces of paper and water. This will give you a much deeper and profound experience and maybe a more bigger cognition and aha moments. So let's how we begin. Little me to big me. <laughs> this is uh, very important for all of you. Life changes when you stop selling yourself and start being yourself. And it's a beautiful process because in the being, the doing, the having is created. It's be, do, have. A lot of people think when I have, then I will be happy, I will be fulfilled, I will be content, I will be joyful, I will be wealthy. When money is there, poof, magic, things resolve. But it's the being, the journey of the becoming that gives you the greatest wealth, health and happiness. Just being yourself, remembering for who you are, self-acceptance, self-love, self-nurturing, self-acceptance is really important in your journey, in your rememberings, in your beingness. Of course, we are so 
stuck these days in our humanness. Hey, human being, we just focus on the first chunk, human. But we forget about the beingness. And the beingness is where you really become a part of you, your remembrance, and you really start tapping into and bring back and reactivating and illuminating your DNA, your beingness, your essence for who you really are. So very important to embrace and acknowledge your existence and really start accepting and loving yourself for your unique expression that you are. In my opinion, you didn't come here to become a unique, uh, you didn't come here to become a carbon copy, of, carbon copy of someone else. You came here really to be you. That unique expression of you. You are a unique creature, unique expression in this world. And we embrace it with love and light in this beautiful world that we exist. So let's go into this journey together. Before we do, we're going to do some uh, powerful commands that can really change your life. Because when you want to change things like you, yes, you on the other side, have to change things in your life. And change is something challenging, right? But embrace change. Of course, that is giving a new path on your journey of the becoming. There's the things, is very important. What is your willingness, what is your willingness to accept change? What is your willingness to learn? And what is your willingness, willingness to confront? Those are very important keys. We, in these days in life, we try to avoid confronting as much as we can. And when we come to the path, I want change. Okay, he wants to change. Let's do it right now. I say, no, 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 I'm not ready yet. Because we are not always ready to learn and we also have to check in on the teachability index where we are on the 1 to 10. 10 highly teachable, 1 you're just barely teachable and better you do something else to get your teachability back up. Just before we're going to say this beautiful command that can change your life, place your left hand on your heart. We're going to say eight magical words after the cleansing breath and the breath that connects you with Theta Mind, with Source Mind. Just close your eyes, have your left hand on your heart, take a deep breath in by looking up to the crown of your head, hold it, and breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in by looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in, looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Now repeat after me with love and intention. I honor the space in which I exist. I honor the space in which I exist. I honor the space in which I exist. Now repeat after me out loud. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it, respond to it, or learn from it. I am changed. Yes, I am. I just want you to feel it for a moment before we continue. When we say, yes, I am, you can open your hands to the universe and then you bring it all back into your center. There we go again. Repeat after me. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it, respond to it, or learn from it. I am changed. Yes, I am. Bring it back into your field. Repeat. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it. Respond to it or learn from it. I am changed. 
Yes, I am. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it, respond to it, or learn from it. I am change. Yes, I am. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it, respond to it, or learn from it. I am change. Yes, I am. Bring the universe back into your field. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it, respond to it, or learn from it. I am change. Yes, I am. And bring it back to your field. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it or respond to it or learn from it. I am change. Yes, I am. Bring it back to your field. I embrace all changes in my life. I either create it, respond to it or learn from it. I am change. Yes, I am. And bring it back in your field. Just close your eyes for a moment. Are you willingly, lovingly to embrace all change in your life? Are you either create your reality or respond to your reality? Or are you learning the lesson from embracing the change in your life? Very important key to remember that you constantly are changing and evolving and growing, expanding. You are not in a new unit of time, you're in a new you of time. You are always in a new unit of time. It means you're never the same, you're always growing, you're always expanding. And embrace that your willingness and lovingness of change in your life. Very powerful concept to remember and to work on every day in every way. Ask this question on a regular basis throughout the day. What's my willingness to change? What's my willingness to learn? What's my willingness to create? What's my willingness to respond? Or my willingness to confront the game of life or things in life? How more you change, how more you expand and the more the journey will continue and the more clarity you're going to get. Of course, change is really happening because resistance is futile. But are you embracing change, surrendering it to the universe, surrendering to your universe, you universe, because you are the universe and the universe is you. Are you really to embrace it every day in every way? And in that change, do you have the X factor? And I highly endorse you to do this exercise. Pay attention and listen. Pay attention and listen. If you do, no, do not have a piece of paper and a blue pen, then pause this video or this live stream for a moment. Just pause it and you're going to grab two pieces of paper and you're going to grab a glass of water. Very important. Just, if you do not have a piece of paper and water, then just pause this video or pause the streaming for a moment. When you have it, come back to this stream and let's continue. So I'm glad you got two pieces of paper and some water and a blue pen and let's see that you have the X Factor. Just uh, grab your piece of paper and place the X anywhere you want. Place the X anywhere you want. Just place an X anywhere you want. Good, congratulations. 
Let's see if you have the X factor. <laughs> if you had placed the X on the piece of paper, then you have a high possibility that you are more thinking inside of the box that is conditioned by society and how your parents brought you up and the school system. If you express outside of the piece of paper, maybe on your table or your glass, on your cell phone, on the wall, somewhere else, then you are probably more likely to think outside of the box. This don't feel disappointed you put an X on the paper because you didn't pay attention and listen. Because I really told you to place the X anywhere you want. I didn't say place the X on the piece of paper. I said just say grab a piece of paper and place the X anywhere you want. And this is just a test. It's just a game of life. And just make yourself aware of where you are in life. Because if you have self-awareness and you have a knowing, you, know, you have a knowingness of your score, then you have more awareness if you are in the 5% of people that make things happen, or you are the 15% watch things happen, or you in the agent of people have no idea what's happening, and just look around as if they are in the trance and say, what happened? And you really can be in the 5, 15, 80%. It's just you have an awareness, where, where do you want to be? The sweet spot for most of us is to be in the 15%. Ultimately, you want to be in the 5%. You, you are people that make things happen. You are go-getters, you are go-givers, you take massive freaking action, you take action, you do it, you're gonna do it, that's it, period. That's ultimately you want to be. But if you constantly think in your box and you're not willing to confront and get uncomfortable and have mental toughness and doing things that has never done before, that can be maybe hurtful, painful, unpleasant, could be confronting, could be feeling irritated inside because it's a challenge. Don't see this as a problem. See this as an opportunity as a challenge to have an awareness that if you had an X on the piece of paper, then there's likely you're in the 15 or 80 percent. And really make an objective every day and every way. Where do you want to be? Do you know your score? So you can get out of your comfort zone, out of that box, and get into an amazing adventure. That maybe have a roller coaster ride. Right? And you have moments you say, oh, I need to relax. There's too much roller coaster. And then you take the swan boat and then you do self-love, self-nurturing, self-acceptance, integration time, do things that you love to do to bring yourself in a feel-good state. It's amazing exercise. Just really know your score every day. Where do you want to be? You want to be in the 5% of people that make things happen? I you want love to be in the fifth percent that watch things happen because it means you are the student, you are learning, and you can learn things by observing people. And maybe you get slightly peeved, then you, congratulations because then maybe something gets triggered and you say, "Now I'm gonna make things happen," or you just be an observer. You just observe and you learn, and then. The, the student already teacher will appear. Or you notice you're in the 80%, then you know you really have to know where are you in life of make things happen. Because if you have no idea what's happening and you're just in the trance and you're just in your daily routine and your trance, your conditioning and in your box, you're not really growing, you're, you're really dying, you're not expanding, right? Because you don't have willingness to learn, willingness to expand, willingness to grow. And you have to wake up. Wake up. And really make aware of the day. Print this on your wall, say, okay, do a test. Am I today in the 5%, in the 15 or in 80%? And have that self-awareness on a regular basis is really important for you to become more productive. 
be more disciplined, be more active, make things happen, do whatever it takes. The only moment you have is now, now here. Just take freaking action every day and every way. Of course, the most valuable thing we have in life is time. And time cannot be earned back. So it's really make an awareness every day, multiple times to the day, to get more clarity where you are. And then ask why questions to yourself to get more cognitions, aha moments. You say, why I want to be in the 15%? You're asking why. You enter out loud. You're then asking another question, a why question. And you keep asking that question till you feel a trigger, an aha moment, a feeling emotion. Then at that moment, the universe will orchestrate people, places, and events that are in that alignment, that feeling, the emotion that you create to bring you in the 15% or into the 5%. Of course, if you don't know what you don't know, how will you know? How will the universe know? Because you are the universe and the universe is you, right? Just make things happen, do this on a regular basis, at least two, three times a day, at least in the morning and at night, and check where you are and asking why questions, why you want to be in the 5%. If you don't feel it, that means on that moment of time, you're not in the 5%. When you feel I'm in the 50%, Good. If you're in the 80% and you have negative feelings about it, you've done EFT, TFT, BEST, Mary Miller, I Ching, Sedona technique, whatever release technique you have to clear the BS out of that belief. And this is very, very powerful. If you want to know more about this topic, what we I just share with you guys, then just send me an email to yoyantastic at photonmail.com you will see the email again later in this uh, broadcast <laughs> good so that's something uh, for you to reach out to if you want to know more about this topic now what ingredient is missing in the book of the secret now the number one thing that is missing in the secret it's all about willpower. You just do, 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 go, 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 motivation, excitement, yoo-hoo! But then you become a motivated, motivated idiot. And you definitely will move vibration, freaking energy. You're vibrating, you're busy, you're busy, you're busy, you are have activity, you're working, you're working, you're busy, willpower, and you go for it. It's all amazing. Those things are fantastic to do. But because you are in the part of a motivated idiot, because you need to keep the momentum going. And the things that hold you back is you. And the you that holds you back is your resistance, the blockages, your apostles, your programs, your habits, your beliefs that stand between you and your goal, your dreams and desires. Because when you are not taking it, action to clearing the blocks in your field you need a lot of willpower to continue the momentum and that's why a lot of people quit or give up because they say this stuff doesn't work and the reason that stuff doesn't work because you have blocks resistance habits programs beliefs and apostles that stand between you and your dream goals inside and you really desire to remove them out of your field. Very, very powerful, very, very important. Second, don't put time on things. You are a pendulum. Feel good, feel bad. This is your goal, your dream. You feel bad, you are, you're not in your sweet spot, and then you go feel good again, and you go back and forth and back and forth, but because you, let's say you're, you have a lack of what you really want, you're here. Let's say this is an active side of the paneling. And this is your zero, your sweet spot. Because you want to create momentum and you want to create that your, your pendulum becomes in alignment. And when you're in alignment, coherence, and you broadcast the exact frequency that you desire, that is with your desire, your golden dream, poof, it magically appears. It's that easy. There's something to ponder, something to think about. There's a layer, let's clear up the BS, the bullshit, kick it to the curve. So I kick my BS to the curve. <laughs> 
And BS stands not just for bullshit, but also your belief system. And remember, if you look at the word belief, you see the word B, lie, and F. And most of your beliefs is being the lie and flung the test of life. Just that's something to think about that a lot of your beliefs are not serving your highest good. They're really working against you. That's why it's so important to be um, you are in personal development where you're really plugging yourself, yourself into personal development. Audio, books, webinars, trainings, reading books, writing, and all those things with positive information that are given by people that have really have lived what they teach. Of course, the question is who do you listen to? There's a lot of teaching out there that sounds amazing, an amazing training, sounds all coherent, the information sounds perfect, everything's like, oh my God, this is so good. But the guy, girl is not living it and not applying his own freaking life. That's not someone you want to listen to. Just listen to people that really are living the principles and then have shared it in a book, in an audio, in a webinar or in a training. And then every day, plug yourself into a success system of audio books and events giving and receiving recognition hang out with like-minded positive people that are not just with you but are for you because the people that are with you are just dead weight they just pull you down people that are for you that are there unconditionally supporting you to thick and thin they divide your sorrows and multiply your happiness those people are really the like-minded people you want to surround yourself with there's yes you do have blocks everyone does it and those blocks are in fact holding you back from attaining your dreams. So let's go and take homes and responsibility for everything and everything in your life and clear the BS once and for all and for all. Because when you take a responsibility in clearing what is holding you back, the blocks, the, the resistance, the programs, habits, beliefs, apostles that are standing between you and your dream, when you clear that out, you tell you I take responsibility. I'm not fin pointing, pointing fingers to someone else. You did it to me, my mom, my dad, my country. Poor me, why me, why, why me? And we're all having that experience from in life. But you have to take responsibility. It's a 10 second miracle. Just when you feel bad or feel lack because you don't have what you want, then you have a great opportunity in a moment of time to clear that negativity, that dark cloud, or the negative feeling or emotion out of your field, so you can remove the resistance, remove the blocks, and that opens your path. For example, if you walk on the path and the tree you fall over, that's one of your blocks, and you cannot over, get over that tree, you need to remove the tree first to continue your journey. And remember, success is a journey Success is a journey, but you will never really arrive. You just enjoy the journey, and you just have to feel joyful and feel good in the journey. Success is a journey, but not a destination. You arrive, but then you continue, and you continue the flow. So let's work on those blocks. So as you all know, we work today on innocence. Experience life with an open heart. A lot of us, you know, including me, we're all working on a regular basis to open a heart. And first we have to break the heart apart and then we resurrect and rebuild the heart. And then we are ready to be more vulnerable and more self-acceptance, self-love. And then we are willingly and lovingly start to open our heart. And that's why the heart is in the rib cage, because the cage can be open so your heart can be free. And this part, the brain is in the skull, the pie of society, and really is hijacking your life. Because those things are very important to be aware of on a regular basis. Tip. This open your heart is very important because when you open your heart, there's more possibilities. Here, your objective is to become fearless and freedom from guilt or shame. Being free. Without programming, conditioning, fear or guilt, and fed a light, feeling fed a light and heartfelt experience. Walking becomes hoping, 
Walking becomes unhopping. You just have a zest in your spring. You're excited. Life becomes more playful. And the best thing is to play the game of life and play the game. Celebrate, laugh, smile, have fun. From having, thinking of and remember everything. You come into being, allowing to feeling and forgetting. Innocence, uh, native is not a stupid thing. Innocence is a wisdom without knowing. You just have blind faith. You have unwavering faith. Living in innocence can be uncomfortable at first, but without guilt, you are free. Yet this freedom does not feel a fork, like a big party, but empty and pure. This is being naked, without the special, with, without the spectacle of feeling guilty, with all its story and dramas. And when you have a story of woe that is not serving you, then always say, in the past, I experienced blah, 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 blah. And then you say, cancel, cancel. And then you tell your story who you want to be. It's precisely in this emptiness where the true quality of beingness of innocent resides. One enters is totally open to be without your story and your drama. And now your world is fresh, crisp and new. And every moment of innocence turns into a lavish adventure. This lets how we begin our journey. Just look at the center of the screen. At the green dots in the triangle. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out softly. Keep focus on the green dot in the center of your screen. Now say after me. I am integrating this frequency of innocence into every fiber of a being that I am now. And it is so. I am the light, the light I am. I am integrating this frequency into every fiber being that I am now. And it is so. Close your eyes. Integrate this feeling. Open your eyes, place your hands on your heart, repeat after me. I affirm that I am ready, willing and able to release my deepest wounding, to dig deep, to go to places I was never able to get before. I'm willing to allow new freedom of positivity, positive light to move me into ever-expanding truth. Take a deep breath in, breathe out. Look at the center of your screen, on the green dot, take a deep breath in, breathe out. Take another deep breath in, and breathe out. Take another other breath in, and breathe out. Repeat the following command. Yes, I am integrating this frequency into every fiber of my being as never before that I am now and it is so. 
Close your eyes. Integrate this feeling. Integrate this frequency into your beingness. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, open your eyes, repeat after me. I affirm that I am ready, willing and able to release my deepest wounding, to dig deep, to go to places I was never able to get before. I'm willing to allow new freedom of positive light to move me into ever-expanding love. Breathe in. Breathe out. Focus on the center of the screen, the green dot. Take another deep breath in. Breathe out. Gently. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out gently. Repeat. Yes, I am integrating this frequency into every fiber of my being that I am now. And it is so. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, open your eyes. Repeat after me, out loud. I affirm that I am ready, willing and able to release my deepest wounding, to dig deep, to go to places I was never able to get before, and willing to allow new freedom of positive light to move me into ever-expanding trust. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Another deep breath in and breathe out. If your eyes are open or not open, just open them up. Look at the screen. Repeat the sentence. Yes, I am integrating this color balancing card into every family being as never before that I am now and it is so. I am the light, the light I am. Take another deep breath in and breathe out. Repeat three times. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now repeat to yourself. I love you. 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 I love you.
Now, please, in the comments below, how do you feel? What is your experience? I feel more centered, more aligned, more coherent. It's a beautiful feeling to be in my heart space. Just put in the comments below, how do you feel? What has changed? What was your experience? Very, very powerful. Just thank you all for your feedback. I appreciate that in the comments below. And we're going to do some beautiful quantum emotional clearing created by Lee Beamer. It's beautiful, it's powerful. But I give you an option. Uh, to really speed up your karma cleansing. I've been doing now for more than uh, nine months now and really the transformation that I've been doing is truly magical. I burn off karma so fast, so easily. It works 24 hours, seven days a week. It is just a godsend, a gift that really makes everything much easier and faster. Of course, the thing is, you can do it all yourself. That's the best way that you do all the work. But we don't have all the discipline because we have so much distractions these days, right? We have a very short uh, in intention span for a lot of people. This, it's uh, a great tool that I can share with you that can really be a magical tool for you, you to really clean up and burn off karma faster. It means cleaning up your system, and when your system is clean, you can become more the true you, the true essence, the true you can, the authentic you can start shining through, instead of the non-authentic you that you, most of you are. You think what you experience is the true authentic you, but it's most of you is not. And when your system is clean, you become more a pure channel with source, you can place faster orders, you can manifest and create much faster, you're much more in a 99% state of feel good. And you're just in awe and bliss and inner peace, inner joy, inner love, inner ecstasy. And you're just enjoying the journey in this amazing, miraculous journey that you have. Just if you have an interest to burn off the karma 24 hours, 7 days a week, uh, I have a great technology that I'm working with. And it's super powerful. And I can assure you when you're take action and you go into this Fibonacci life path symbol that we will create with you with the beloved team that I work with. You can accomplish more in one year. Yeah, just you can accomplish in one year more than you can accomplish without it in a lifetime. If you depend entirely on your own efforts of success. There's this is so powerful. You can achieve more in one year with this technology and the year after and the year after, then you can do it in your lifetime. Of course, we don't know what is in our family lineage and ancestors in the karma, in the progress, belief and habits and things that's standing between us and living our true destiny or true mission or true purpose in life. And these days, I already say we have a lot of distractions. We have forgotten for who we really are. And then we start creating a reality that, that we are not. And then we're never going to feel content, whole and complete and holy. Because that's the big, big thing. Because if you love to change your life and really have massive change and have something that works for you 20 hours, 
seven days a week and burning off all the karma that's not yours and releasing all the things that are not you and truly embrace what's all that's the true essence of you, then send an email to me at yogantastic.protonmail.com. And I will reach out to you. Make sure you put in the subtitle, Burn Off Karma. And we're going to work together and clear the BS once and for all. So here we go. And I'm going to show you first how we do this. You have your middle finger and your two side fingers. Middle finger stepping on the side. And then you're just tapping like this. And then you're going to repeat the affirmations after me out loud. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. Repeat after me. Even though I sometimes have unexplained and uncomfortable sensations and I feel foggy or groggy or confused or overwhelmed, I'm free to release negativity from every aspect of my life. I give up a mission to find the clarity I am looking for. I'm totally joyfully love and accept myself. I invite peace to return to me and know that all is well. Take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Repeat after me. By the power of God, all curses, interference, antagonism, and repeaters are bound and defeated and must leave me now to return to the source, to be revealed in the truth and absolved in the light once and for all, right now. So be it, so let it be done, and it is so. Breathe in, breathe out. <sighs> By the power of the Creator, all curses, interference, antagonism, and repeaters are bound and defeated and must leave me now to return to the source, to be revealed in the truth and absolved in the light once and for all, right now. So be it, let it be done, and it is so. Breathe in, breathe out. By the power of the universe, all curses, interference, antagonism, and repeaters are bound and defeated and must leave me now to return to the source, to be revealed in the truth, and absolved in the light, once and for all, right now. So be it, so let it be done, and it is so. Breathe in, breathe out. By the power of the universe, all curses, interference, antagonism, and repeaters are bound and defeated, and must leave me now to return to the source, to be revealed in the truth, and absolved in the light, once and for all, right now. So be it, so let it be done, and it is so. Breathe in, stop tapping, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back, say thank you, thank you, thank you. Place in the comments below, how do you feel? What is your experience? What did you get out of it? Do you just express yourself? Because by expressing self, you put it in the now and you're really placing the order. Thank you for your comments. I appreciate that. Tremendous. <laughs> you are tremendous. 
when you do any clearing, in any form of clearing, EFT, TFT, Bass, Mary Miller, I Ching, Sedona, Honopono, the magic ingredient is when you're clearing what's holding you back, you always need to fill up that void with new positive affirmations. Just fill up the void that you have created, you have released and cleaned and nullified all the things that are no longer serving your highest good. You say, kick you the curve, send you back to source, send you back to the sender, send back to the person being and you send it, poof, you send it back. But when your system is clean, you need to fill up yourself with positive affirmations. So that emptiness is then filled up with positivity and then it will attract more positivity. If you do not fill it up and it's void, then it will like attracts like, the negativity, the emptiness will create, more likely attract negative things back into that space that you have created. But always fill it up. Key ingredient that a lot of people forget. A lot of people say, I did cancel, cancel. But you didn't fill it up. It's a very bad day, cancel, cancel. It's gonna be the best day ever. You need to learn to paraphrase and fill it up with positivity. Of course, positive attracts positive. Negative attracts negative and vo the void, the empty space, will empty more empty space. And the empty space can become anything. But of course, we are naturally conditioned to focus on what we don't want and lack and negativity. There's a high likely possibility you in that empty space you're attracting more negativity. And then you have to do cleaning after cleaning after cleaning because you didn't take responsibility to fill yourself up with some good vibrations. So, so let's make that happen and repeat after me. I am thankful for all the good things in my life. Repeat after me out loud. I am thankful for all the good things in my life. I am grateful for all the good things in my life. I am appreciative for all the good things in my life. I am blessed for all the good things in my life. I feel great. I am a champion. I am a winner. Money is a renewed resource. I have all the money that I need. I have what it takes to be successful. I have what it takes to be successful. I have everything in abundance. Every day in every way, I am getting better, better and better. I deserve success. I am worthy of success. I love myself. I really love myself. I, deep down inside of me, really love myself. I honestly, deep down inside of me, really love myself. I can do it. I can make my dreams come true. I am in control of my life. I can have, be and do whatever I want. I am lucky. Things always go my way. All is well in my life. I was born to win. I'm designed for accomplishment. I'm engineered for success. Whatever my mind can conceive and bring itself belief, I can achieve. If it's to be, it's up to me. I'm doing it, that's it, period. So be it, so let it be done, and it is so. Breathe in. Breathe out. Post in the comments below, what was your experience? How do you feel? Do you feel that you're worthy of success? Do you feel that you're deserving success? Do you feel you're a champion, you're a winner, you're a go-getter, that life always goes your way? How do you feel? Express. Thank you. For this last exercise, grab a piece of paper with a glass of water. And this is a beautiful exercise that you're really going to love and really is magical. So let's how we begin, my beloved brothers and sisters, soul family. 
Let's embrace the journey of your inner genius. I come out of the genie. <laughs> Hello, your wish is your command. And remember, the lie is out there that you only have three wishes, but really you can have placed many, many, many wishes, but you want to remove away, I want to move away from wishing and wishful thinking. You want to go into commanding. I give a command, an order and degree now. That means you own it, you got this. Very powerful. So what you need to do, grab a piece of paper, a white paper with a blue pen, and place a beautiful, biggest round circle on the piece of paper. Now, in the center of your biggest possible round circle, you put in big X. Because you have the X factor, right? <laughs> Good. It's probably now you have a round circle and an X. Good. This is the genie in a bottle or genie in a glass. And this is placing an order directly with source. So I want you to think about something that you really, 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 really want. Or you really, 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 really desire in your life. You say, oh, I really, really want that in my life. And you think about it, you dream about it, you talk about it, you're obsessed about it, you have a manipulative obsession. It's on your mind. It's really what you really want. You feel really good about it. And it's powerful. This, the objective is what we're going to do inside the round circle. This time you will have to be in the round circle. <laughs> Think about something you really, really want. And what we're going to do, we're going to take three breaths. Then I say a random word. When I say a random word, drink some more genie water. <laughs> When I say a random word, that is the point where you're going to start drawing, writing, or writing down a frequency. Because when I say, hello, you hear my, me saying a word. That's the word that you can express yourself on the piece of paper. Anywhere you want inside of the circle. I'll explain later why I couldn't use a random word and then you couldn't just express whatever comes to you. Are you ready? If not, stop the recording, get your piece of paper. It will look something like this, okay? <laughs> All right, here we go. This objective is something that you really, 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 really want. Something where you're excited about. <laughs> Good. Here we go, my brothers and sisters. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in, we're looking up to the crown of your head. Breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in, we're looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in, we're looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out. Flower, start, start drawing, painting, expressing.
All right, finishing up. Remember, it's something that you really, really, really want or desire in your life. Good. Put your pen down, place your hands on your heart, take a deep breath in. Now looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in, looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Take another deep breath in, looking up to the crown of your head, hold it. And breathe out, relax your eyes. Spaceship! Go ahead, express yourself. Just finish up whatever came to you. Your hands on your heart, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Sunflower. Go ahead, express yourself inside the circle. Doing great. Could be words, could be in drawing, could be a frequency, whatever comes to you, just express yourself inside of the ship. Just finishing up. You can always expand it a bit later. You know, you can make it a little bit more full color. You can create, but don't add any more thing to it. You can just expand what you are creating, but don't add new things to it. Just what you have is that's your starting point. You need just expanding maybe some color or some things, but don't add new other things to it. Just finishing up. Now you have something that maybe looks like this. And what you need to do is very simple. Place your glass of water on the center of the X. And you put it on the, on the table. There you go. You can see it. And this is your left hand. Your point finger and middle finger are touching the glass like this. 
you look at the water from above, if it looks something like this, you look down inside into the water, that means you're looking to all your pictures, right? And then you tell the eight magical words, I honor the space in which you exist. I honor the space in which you exist. I repeat again. You should touch with your left hand, middle finger and point finger. The glass of water. You look at the center of the water, look above to your picture and say, I honor the space in which you exist. Then you can uh, focus on the water uh, intensively, where intensity goes and you flows. Just keep on focus on that water. And when I say it's complete, you're going to drink the water. This, here we go. Three, two, one. Tell the water. When you look at the center above the water, say to the water, I honor the space in which you exist. Now keep focus on the water. Focus on the water. Keep focus on the water. Keep focus on the water. Focus on the water. Now take a deep breath in, breathe out, take a glass of water, put it in your mouth and keep it in your mouth for a moment and just swirl around before you swallow. Now swallow, close your eyes. And just be for a moment. Take a deep breath in, breathe out. Take another deep breath in, and breathe out gently. Take another deep breath in, and breathe out gently. Say, and then say after me, out loud, thank you, bring me more, thank you, bring me more. Thank you, bring me more. So be it, so let it be done, and it is so. Maybe feel a little unique experience inside of you. Of course, water is supercharged. I use some technology to infuse your really, really desire want into the water. When you drink the water, you become the water, like the Bruce Lee said. When you put water in the cup, it becomes the cup. When you put water in the teapot, it becomes the teapot. And normally water can crash or water can flow. Be water, my friend. But of course, this water is in direct order to source and bypass all your programs, beliefs, and apostles and habits that are standing to you and source to place the order. It means it's a direct command and direct download what you really, really want. You can do this every, any, any time with water to create your reality. It works at any moment of time, because time is an illusion. 
This boat plays in the comments below. What was your experience when you're drinking the water? How do you feel? How do you, what do you experience? Express yourself. And thank you for doing that. I appreciate that. So I say to all of you, my beautiful souls out there, may all your dreams come true. May you live a lavish life in super abundance, prosperity, in happiness, wealth, and, and joy. And may you remember yourself every day and every day that you are a winner, that you are a temp champion, that you are worthy to deserve, you're worthy to receive, you're worthy to give, you're worthy to deserving, of winning and happening, of creating your reality. Life is truly magical. You are more powerful than you can ever imagine. Love yourself, self-love, self-nurturing, self-care, self-acceptance. Embrace yourself. Love yourself. You are loving, you are loved, you are lovable forever. And every day and every day you become the greater version of you. Accept, grow, accept, grow, nurture, integrate. And you will see with these magical steps we did today. You will feel different than we start at the beginning of our journey together. I say to all of you with all my heart and soul, I love you dearly, deeply, intimately, with all my heart and soul. I'm glad we all come together, have this amazing journey together into the greater, bigger, bolder, more adventurous, more remembered for who we really are, the bigger me, the bigger you, the bigger authentic you that you are destined to be. Have a great day. Love you all with my heart and soul. Have a great day and looking forward to seeing you all somewhere in this time space reality and somewhere on the weekday to celebrate a new beginning. Have a great day and many, many blessings and may you never be the same again. Have a great day. Love you all.